Hi, this is Weka Tutorial 33 and in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how you can do random undersampling on your data set. So I'm going to use a filter and that filter will uh, will make your imbalanced data set balanced uh, by randomly undersampling the majority class. Remember that I had a tutorial where I showed you how you can synthetically produce instances uh, for the minority or the majority class but this tutorial is a bit different than that tutorial you can find the link here with the difference is very simple that in smart you are using an algorithm to to generate instances for the minority class or the majority class mostly you generate instances for minority class using smart so that the class becomes almost balanced but in this tutorial i'm, I'm going to randomly undersample the majority class so that the number of instances for one class is it becomes equal to the number of instances in other class so in this tutorial I'm just assuming that my data set contains only two classes so to do with uh, to uh, demonstrate with uh, uh, this I'm going to explore and I'm going to open a file this is my customized file uh, uh, my, from my research project but you can use any other files. So here, if uh, if you if you carefully take a look at the class, it's very imbalanced because we have two classes, yes and no, and yes count is just 372, and frequency of no is about uh, 6,500. So it's a big difference between the majority and minority class here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undersample the majority class here, which is class no, and I'm going to take that 6,449 instances uh, under sample so that uh, they become the number of uh, uh, negative instances here becomes exactly the same as uh, the instances in the positive class or yes class, which is 372. So in that case, I'm going to apply a filter that will reduce the oversample class here, the major sorry, not oversample, the majority class here, so that the number of instances of the blob, both of the classes, they become equal. So in order to do that, I'm going to the filter and in I'm going to supervise filter and attributes. Sorry, uh, I'm going to deal with instances. And you see that smote is there. So we have dealt with this mode previously to generate synthetic um, uh, synthetic instances for different classes. But here I'm going to use a split sum subsample filter. And if you click on the options, then you can see that you have um, you have an option called distribution spread. And to make them equal, you have to uh, make uh, you have to put one there in the distribution spread. I click OK and apply a filter, and then you can see that the number of class instances are now exactly same, exactly equal to each other. So number of ESS is 372. I did not uh, do anything on the yes class. It remain it remains 372, but from 6,449 instances of no classes, I just randomly undersampled that class um, so that it is in the number of instances for these classes again uh, is also 372. So now you are having a balanced class problem rather than having imbalanced class problem. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much. Keep watching my uh, tutorials. I'm, I'm coming with more tutorials and also don't forget to subscribe and Put um, a click on like button if you if you uh, if you really got help uh, from this tutorial. Thanks a lot.